It's been an absolute war out there. Neither side giving in. Both want to advance to the next round. It's the Eastern Conference Playoff Game 6. Right here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony as well as Brent Berry. And we'll be catching up a bit from the sideline with David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. When the Pacers traded away Paul George, many around the league expected a total rebuild. Instead, Indiana has been a consistent playoff team. They don't have so-called big names on this roster, but they do have veterans who stayed humble, who bought in completely, and who come to play every night. And with young talent that's still on the rise, there's reason for optimism going forward in Indiana. Kevin? A lot of optimism. Thanks, D.A. Short a rotation play. Nothing that uh, they can't overcome, but it does shrink their margin for error just a bit. Missing a valued contributor, that can be a challenge. We'll see how they answer the bell. So the opening lineup for the Heat, in the middle, it's Olenek and Adebayo. Filling out the wings, it's Waiters and Butler. And it's Dragic in at the one. And for Indiana, Oladipo is the two with Warren playing small forward. Sabonis and Turner up front. And it's McConnell in at point guard. And it's going to be the Pacers off the tip. And there's Sabonis. That's good on the assist by McConnell. Well, Sabonis can play there on the block. That's where he did a lot of damage in college. So him working inside, that's a good sign. Waiters pass it to Linick. No good on the three. And it's McConnell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the pace. Oladipo, good. Now, what a great option he gives them on every possession. And Waiters kicks the drive. And stolen by McConnell. And up the court come the Pacers on the break. Up again. I love the determination he showed there, getting himself into good position under the glass. With the presence of mind to know just where the rebound was going to come down. Well timed. Dragic dishes the Waiters. And stolen by McConnell. Oladipo, the pass to McConnell. Now Sabonis, defended by Butler. Six on the shot clock. Here's Oladipo. It's Autobio with the rebound. And here we go. It's Butler. Second chance effort. And out of bounds as the Pacers gain possession. The Pacers making a switch here. Ogden's checked in. Pacers have gone three of five, shooting the ball so far. This is it to turn. Outside Warren. Back to Turner. Kicks it to Warren. Down to five on the shot clock. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Offensive rebound. Another shot. And Sabonis finishes it off. And you know what? He doesn't mind getting his hands dirty when it comes to really fighting on the backboard. Not only fighting on the boards, he's converting, and not just on the putback. It's been a great start for him. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. And clearly, he's in a lot of pain. They, they call time, and the trainer's going to get a chance to go out and check him over. First, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Rockets the pass to Butler. Miami no good on that time either. Yeah, a little bit surprising he hasn't connected on at least one of his three shots yet, but uh, he's going to keep shooting. And Oladipo kicks to Warren. Brockton outside. Shoots over Trogic. And that one hits back iron. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, 
Always surprising to see him miss from there. Yeah, and Butler, a, a real pro, just at realizing when to pull up against the D. Amazing concentration there on the wing. Back to Turner. And there's the pass to Warren. Shot clock at six. Can't cash in on the 10 foot jump. The Heat trail by five. Here's Waiters. Nice D from Oladipo. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Well, the defense head on the swivel as Oladipo had him in circles. And here's Dragic. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. Butler against Warren. Shots good by Butler. Time out, time out. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? Are you asking me, GA? I, I'm not sure. So the Pacers call timeout. Their first of the game. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. The Heat making a switch here. Leonard, he's checked in for Otto Byron. Johnson comes in for Kelly Olynyk. Derek Jones, he's checked in for Deion Waiters. And Winslow subbed in for Goran Dragic. Here's Butler. It's in. That's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. There's Bitagze. Up the line by Indiana. Holiday, the pass to Brogdon. Here's Bitagze, defended by Butler. Tries again. No good from Lamb. The Heat trail by three. Butler on the way. Pass to Winslow. It is now to Johnson. Pass to Butler. Over Holiday. There's Winslow. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three point play. Enjoy Winslow getting in there to mix it up with the big boys and come away with the rebound. Miami shooting their first free throw of the night here. Doug McDermott, he's checked in for Brockton. And that one misses. So much intrigue around Justice Winslow, who's still trying to find the right position in the NBA. Last year, a lot of it was at the point guard position as a wing. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Jones for three. It's not going to go for him. Indiana leading by three. Now Lamb. No points in the game yet for him. I'm deep. No good on that one. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Pacers out in front. They lead by three. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. The trade deadline is approaching, and Jimmy Butler talked about how it feels hearing your name in trade rumors. Those are different for everybody to tell you the truth. For me, I don't think about it because whatever is going to happen is going to happen. You go out there and control what you can control. You know, try to help your team win games, play to the best of your abilities. And if it just so happens you get traded, then you got to suit up and play for the next team. Staying level-headed and ready for whatever's next. Uh, that's Jimmy's mindset, Greg, in a nutshell. And it's fair to say that the level of professionalism and maturity he possesses is really impressive. And we're back. Good to have you with us for 2K Sports coverage of Game 6. And let's quickly break down the game, guys, we have seen from Indiana. What do you think? Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. Keep plays alive with your activity. That's what it's about. McDermott is out there with Leaf. That's Jeremy Lamb. And it's Bitadze in at the five spot. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Pacers. 
Butler against Howard. Indiana moving it around. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Yeah, heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. A different look for Miami. Waiters comes in for Butler. And it's Drogic in What's for up? Derek Jones. Free throw, no good for Holiday. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Miami, trailing by five. Sneaky quickness allowing Waiters to penetrate through the defense to get the strong finish. Feeds to Turner. Good on the shot. And the Pacers lead by five. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Winslow against Holiday. Now here's Winslow. He's covered closely. Waiters inside the three-point line. And that one goes off. Pacers leading by five. Oladipo, good. Oladipo's got his third basket of the night. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Waiters outside. Too long in the paint, and he's hit with a three-second violation. The Heat have started out 0 of 1 from the line, missing their only other attempt early. And so he hits the technical free throw. One of the better free throw shooting bigs in the NBA. The challenge for Leonard as he develops is to try to get to the line a few more times. Looking at who's out there now for the Pacers. Warren's checked in for McDermott. And Malcolm Brogdon subbed in for Aaron Holiday. Kelly Olenek's checked in for the Heat. And there's the defensive three-second call. The Heat have gone one for two on the night so far from the line. Free throw good from Leonard. Bam out of bios checked in for Miami. Ball's not loose and is out of bounds. The Heat able to retain possession here. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Five to shoot. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And, and folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Brogdon kicks to Sabonis. Oladipo taking his time here. Launches a three. Doesn't get it to drop for him. The Heat go the other way with it. They come into the game following the win on Sunday. And in that one, the backups came to play. Gave the team an infusion of points that just put them over the top. Well, I talked to the assistant coaching staff. What they were stoked about is that the bench guys came in and played well. So punch off the bench, a big factor in that win. The Heat have shot two of three from the free throw line tonight. <laughs> Free throw, good Waiters. Uh, we know about him being the fourth overall pick in the draft, and Waiters still trying to find a role on this team. And both free throws good for Waiters. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. 
Oladipo outside. The baseline J. And again, it's Indiana converting. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. Timeout called the Heat. And coach is looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. Adebayo finds Winslow. Waiters gets a wide open look. Miami no good on that time either. And so it's Turner with it. He brings it up for Indiana. Three point lead. Here's Warren. No good that time. And the Heat going the other way now. And here is Brogdon. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. To the middle. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That went on Olenek. Uh, Sabona's such a fantastic prospect, a guy you think is going to play 10 or 12 years in this league, and a good job there getting contact and getting to the line. The Pacers shooting their second and third free throws tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one misses. And Sabonis has a tremendous skill set for a seven-footer. Remember his dad, Hall of Famer Arvidas Sabonis, very creative in his own right. Leaf checked in for the Pacers. Jeremy Lamb comes in for Victor Oladipo. And Miami with a change here, too. Jones has checked in. Good on the second free throw. 136 left in the first half of basketball. Then against Dragic. Rocket six. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. Well, when you have an outstanding point guard that's making outstanding decisions like Dragic does, it can be lethal. Rocked in the pass to Warren. 58 seconds left in the second quarter. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. Rockets against Brogdon. Rockets left side. And Waiters has it in the corner. The shot, no good. Some solid defense there from Lamb. Maybe a time to rest him right now. Just give him a bit of a breather. Try to help him get back on track. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Trogic with it. From deep three-point range, the shot comes out. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Pacers lead by four. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with Jimmy Butler. Jimmy, you have come a long way in this league. When you look at your career now versus when you came in, how different is it? Much different. Uh, I think on the floor, I'm supposed to do a lot more on both ends of the floor. And um, off the floor, I think it's still the same. People recognize my hair. Well, it is a unique style. Jimmy, thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Round one action of the playoffs continuing on 2K Sports. Glad to have you with us for the halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jeff Smith. Taking a look at the Pacers, they're locked in a battle tonight. And knowing that they're desperate to clinch the series here in game six, it's likely to be a rough, grinded out second half. They don't want to let this opportunity get away from them. And Kenny, what do you think about what we saw from Indiana? Well, they've been rewarded for dumping the ball inside, keeping the defense honest. You have to mix it up. A little bit outside, a little bit inside. Now that separates teams. 
And Shaq, your thoughts on the Heat? Well, they're just not generating enough offense. The guys all look like they're on a different page, out of rhythm, out of sync, out of style. Several times they look flat out confused. They're still in a good position to win this game. They just need to get organized. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. Victor Oladipo really making a difference here. With so much on the line tonight, you have to be impressed with the way he came out and set the tone with his aggression. Yeah, the rest of the team seemed to line right up behind him, matching that kind of intensity and looking for him to come through with some big plays. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. Butler and Olenek, the forward duo. Trotnich and Waiters, they're the backcourt. And it's Adebayo in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Well, there's a lot of shots for TJ to choose from, so you never know when he's going to go to that one. Sweet over. Trotnich dishes to Waiters. No good on the triple. Indiana leading by six. And Oladipo kicks to McConnell. And there's Oladipo on the assist by McConnell. McConnell's got three assists in the game. Now here's Dragic. He's covered by McConnell. Warren against Butler. The kick out to Dragic. Fires the three. Miami no good on that time either. Not been an easy start. Three straight misses here on these possessions. And again, it's Indiana converting. That makes three in a row to start the second half. The Heat trail by 10. Passes it to Olenek. Waiters outside on the pass to Butler. Miami no good on that time either. Well, if they got a favorite play, Kevin, it might be time to break it out. Zero of four to start it. And slam dunk by Sabonis. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, some of these nights you got to enjoy yourself. Not too much at the expense of the other team, but right now this team is balling. And the Heat call time here. And Coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. Leonard, he's checked in for Otto Bayer. Johnson comes in for Kelly Olenek. And it's Justin Winslow in for Goran Dragic. Winslow, the pass to Johnson. Outside Butler. Again, the miss by the Heat. Ouch. Five shots without a make. That's a really ragged start coming out of halftime. Has to be Thompson. Johnson with the block. Well, if you can use that athleticism on offense, why not try it on defense? James Johnson putting his 7-1 wingspan to great use. And here's Leonard from three. They need this, and he makes that one. Johnson's got his first two points. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second-chance opportunities again and again. Oladipo. It's hauled in by the Heat. Now, here's Butler. Seven points in the game. And there it is for him. 
Yeah, there's a good indicator of Winslow and his feel for the game. I like how much he makes a concentrated effort to get the ball right there to the open man. Time call here. Indiana decides to talk it over. Checked in for the Pacers. Lamb comes in for Oladipo. Heat also with a sub. Jones has checked in. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Last holiday. And once again off the mark by Indiana. The Heat trail by 10. The shot by Butler. Nobody around. Leonard. No good there. And that would have cut it to single digits. Now here's McDermott, defended by Butler. Now McDermott, he's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Four on the clock, and the shot is good. And the Pacers lead by 12. Now that play never gets old, Kevin. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. Winslow kicks to Butler. Floats one up, and it's good on the way in. Butler's got four points now in the quarter. And how about the floater there from Butler? That shot is deadly. You just never know when he's going to use it. Leave passes to McDermott. To the inside. Holiday gets the bucket. Holiday's got his second bucket of the night. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Passes to Butler. Wide open look. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Man, you got to love seeing Butler pull up from here. His jumper is a big part of his offensive game. Outside, Lamb. Back to Holiday. Outside, Lamb. And he's good on the three ball. And even stronger second half. Tremendous efficiency at the offensive end of the floor. Winslow kicks to Buck. Jones, no one around him. Trains the three-pointer. And you can see that Butler is the total package. Solid at recognizing when one of his guys is open. Lamb against Butler. Here's Lamb. On deep. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And so it's Indiana with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. They've been playing some ferocious defense. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. Sabonis and Turner up front. Jeremy Lamb out there with Brogdon. And it's Warren in at the three spot. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Can't hit from 12. 
Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that position, but you can't pass it up and you can't knock it down. Butler against Lamb. Here's Dragic from outside, and the rebound goes to the Pacers. Turner's got six rebounds in the game. This feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Back to Sabonis. There's the triple. It's Autobio with the rebound. Autobio's got rebound number five here tonight. Butler passes to Dragic. Back to Butler. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. You know, the way Butler handles himself in the paint, it really impressive. Just kind of out-muscles and, and outworks anything the defense throws at him. Lamb passes to Brogdon. Sabonis trying to get open. And there's Brogdon on the assist from Lamb. Defensively, you can't afford to give him that kind of look, especially down this many points. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. And the Heat call time here. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now. Just flat, Greg. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. for the Pacers. Waiters, he's checked in for the Heat. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, during that break, Eric Spolstra had some words for his team. He was disappointed in the shot selection. He told them, stay patient, run the offense, make the extra pass. We don't have to make up the deficit all at once. We'll see if they start shooting a little better. Kevin? Thank you, David. And Turner kicks to Oladipo. On the strike, and shot on the way, and they pick up two. And the Pacers lead by 11. Well, Oladipo playing a couple years at point guard in Orlando when he started his career, showing off his passing ability there. Warren against Waiters. Rockets left side, out of hand on it. Sabonis has to use good timing in order to block shots. That time he did. Here's Warren and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. good on the free throw well, he's a multi-talented player is T.J. Warren and capable of playing now both forward positions with the way the game has changed a valuable player for what they want to do offensively and he sinks the second and it's Dragic bringing up the ball for the Miami Heat a 12 point game he dishes it to Waiters. But they get it back. And the three off target. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Sabonis, so the pass to Warren. The shot's good. Warren's got the lead up to 14 now for the Pacers. I always feel like he's around the rim and sniffing out more points. T.J. Warren feeling very much at ease with that quality of a shot. Dragic with a wide open look. And again, it's the Heat missing. Just cannot get anything to go. If there's going to be a way to get out of this hole, I don't think he'll be the one to do it. There's the pass to Oladipo. Six to shoot. Here's Brogdon. Powered down after the assist. Let him into the lane. 
offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Astro in it to end the run, and that's a foul called on Bam out of Iowa. That's his first foul. Pacers leading by 16. There's a minute 47 left to play here in the fourth. Kept alive. And Sabonis, a fadeaway J off the mark. Miami's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Puts it up from 15, and he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. Got to respect the mid-range play of Goran Dragic right there. The left-handed point guard strokes it well. Oladipo outside. Shoots over a Olenek. Oladipo, good. And the Pacers lead by 16. Started. And guys, just really impressed. They made big plays when it counted, and that's why it's going to be on to the next round for Indiana. Starting five must have been happy to get so much help from the reserves in this game. And they not only lightened the load, the subs did nothing less than guarantee a win. And guys, one of the steady and outstanding players putting in another impressive performance, it was a big time outing for Victor Oladipo. Yeah, it felt like there was more than one of him out there tonight. He was involved on every possession and he made his presence felt in so many ways. Victor Oladipo. And I love that it's been a hard charging performance. Jump shots have been kind of an afterthought. His main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some tough spots and also finishing strong. And he'll head into the second round with his confidence at its highest level. He couldn't have picked a better time to take his game up a notch. Mayton. A rebound by Bitadze. He rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. Pass to McConnell. Passes it to Leaf. A baseline J. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. And once they smelled blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game, but... Once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Johnson, good. Of course, wanting to get better from outside the arc, James Johnson realizes he's got to keep making those shot attempts. There's Bitadze, and again, it's Indiana converting. An impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. Awesome to see their output tonight, trying to urge their team on, and... That can always help. That, that home advantage of home fans getting you going. Fully on display here. And they do it. They'll move on to round two. It took them six games to do it, Greg, but they finally asserted themselves and move on to round two. And I really think it benefits a team to have a competitive series in, in round one. It gets those playoff juices kind of flowing, if you will. Prevents any kind of complacency from setting in. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Victor. You've been really playing well on offense of late. What's going right for you at that end of the floor? Patience, man. Experience. Um, belief. Faith. All the above, man. Uh, just coming out here working on my game. I'm just going to continue to keep growing. Continue to keep staying close to my teammates. Continue to keep working hard. And continue to keep getting better. That is a crowded locker room with all those things in there. <laughs> Thanks, Victor. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Well, that'll do it for now. And you can join us during this first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later.